Welcome back. They're reducing the stigma and creating behavioral health access for all. So here with us now from Kingsview Behavioral Health is Beverly Rain, Executive Director of Marketing and Communications and Telepsychiatry, along with Madeline Corey, Foundation Coordinator. So thank you guys so much for being here. How how long has Kingsview been serving the Valley? How long have you guys been here? Well, everyone thinks it's somewhat recent, but we've been here for the last seven decades. We started in the sort of early 50s out in Reedley as an inpatient hospital, and we now do services from Kern County all the way up to the Oregon border. Oh, wow. So we've been around a long time, but mainly in Fresno County, Kings County, right. Tulare County, and, and Madeira. Has it always been Kings County, Kings View Behavioral Health? Yes, it has. Always it was been Kingsview. the same name? Mm -hmm. It was Kingsview Inpatient Health Hospital on the, uh, the Reedley River. Yeah. yeah. The oh, Kings okay. River. That's why it got its name. That, Kingsview, that yeah. is a Central Valley Roots. I know exactly where you're talking about. Yep. What is it that you guys do? What services do you provide there? And is it still a hospital setting? No. Okay. No, we closed the hospital down many years ago, but we do everything from drug and alcohol, telepsychiatry. We have wellness centers in several places, including Fresno. And we do the PATH programs, which are county funded, which are outreaching to the homeless sector. Okay. We also have some children's programs, but the main thing that we're focusing on right now in our giving time is our intellectually developmentally delayed adults. We oh, have, okay. Yeah, we have a couple of great programs that are looking for some help. Yes. And we also have some some apartments here in Fresno where we have folk living in there. Oh, so, great. So, you know, state funding isn't always great, and we do the best with what we've got, but that's a, an amazing population that we've been helping for over 50 years. All right, so that is the mission for Giving Tuesday yep. for Kingsview Behavioral Health. What are the programs that you guys have that you're trying to fund? So we have a couple, one's in Atwater and one is in Los Banos. And these are programs where we have adults with intellectual disabilities. Mm -hmm. So their family get a respite. Yes. We pick them up um, in the mornings and they do art. We take them on walks. They do lots of different programs. You were there, yep. Madeline. Yep, yep. We, uh, this last week we held a Thanksgiving event oh, where they were able to invite their family members and their friends. And we, it was more of like a Friendsgiving event. Right. And we helped serve and we got the opportunity to meet all of their loved ones while connecting with them checking in seeing what they've been doing they've been having like their kind of own like March Madness type of event this fall um, where they all get together and they get on these little teams and they play mm -hmm. together it's very it's very sweet and wonderful. I love that yes okay so we've got some day programs going on Correct. what is respite care is so important if mm -hmm. you're a full-time caregiver mm -hmm. so that it's such an important thing to take care of yourself so that you can give the best care what's going on with the apartments how how is that uh, factoring into the services you provide so we have people living there and we have full-time caregivers and they've been there for several, several years. And so it's important that they're wheelchair accessible in yes. some cases. But it's a great program. And during COVID, we really saw the need because our, more, our clients that were more um, medically fragile mm -hmm. had to stay at home. Right. And so they're thrilled to be back. But having said that, the funding hasn't been right. as good as we wanted. So we're, we're trying to do a drive now mm -hmm. so we can get some new vans. Okay. We're in need of, in need of vans. Um, you know, they wear out. Yes. And we, were, we did have a problem with the catalytic converters being stolen. Oh, no. Yeah, we did. But we've managed to replace them. So we, yeah, we're looking for support for vans, yeah. any sort of support for our clients? Well, well, Giving Tuesday will certainly, um, you know, if you've had your catalytic converter <laughs> stolen, Giving Tuesday will change your mind about, about humanity. We can donate to Kingsview Behavioral Health. We can scan yeah. that QR yeah. code right there, yeah. right? Yeah, that what, is correct. Do you guys have a goal this year for Giving Tuesday? Oh my gosh. We and you're like, any, uh, any, 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 as much as, as, much as yeah, possible. Yeah, the right. the, the yeah. sky is the limit. All right, so we can scan that QR code or we can go to kingsview.org, right? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Yep. And we thank the community because they have been very supportive in the past. And we get a lot of support yeah. from the county mental health and other folk who really care about those in need. And thank you for having us on as yeah. well. Well, the, these day programs, which you're trying to fund with Giving Tuesday this year, are so important. My yeah. mom was a special ed teacher for, for oh, many, many, oh, many wow. years. So you know. So uh, I, I know how far those donations can go. You can scan the QR code or go online. You guys, thank you so much thank for being you. here today. You're welcome. Thank we you. appreciate it. Everybody else, stay right there. The perfect backyard makeover for the season. What you need to transform your space after the break.